Aries, welcome to your general reading. I hope you're well. I hope you're fabulous. We are doing yours and theirs placements today. Show me Aries, please. What's going on? Show me that Aries energy, please. What's going on for Aries? Show me Aries, please. What's going on? Show me Aries. Judgment. Knife of Wands. Nine of Cups. I don't know, but you feel good. <laughs> you do feel good. You do. Ooh, that's some feel good energy right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it. Judgment. Knight of Wands. Nine of Cups. Aries is like, I'm free. I'm free. <laughs> Freedom! No, you're, you're expressing yourself, honey. You are expressing yourself and you, you seem to be doing well. <laughs> I, I'm all about expression. Thank you. <laughs> I like this. This is great. I will clarify, of course, but your energy is great. Oh my god. I've seen Knights of Wands and Nine of Cups combination for you before. It is very common. I know who I am. I know what I'm about. I've got water. I've got fire. You know, I... I'm just living in the moment. It feels good because I am good. I have energy. I have excitement. Look at me go. Yes. I want to know why your energy is opening with the mark of judgment. It's interesting. But uh, it does come across as revival energy to me. Okay. So judgment is revival. And it's coming across more so as a revival of your personal energy. Where it's like... <laughs> What can I say? I feel good. <laughs> so, <laughs> wow. Oh boy, did we have our espresso today? <laughs> wow. You got a you got a jump start on your energy, honey. Woo! Look at you go. Wow. <laughs> Right, you, you, don't fix what ain't broke. All right, if you feel good, keep on. Keep on keeping on, honey. Rock on. There you go. I am alive. I am freedom. I am William Wallace from Braveheart. I've got the blue <laughs> freedom. <laughs> wow. You are living life. Woo. Look at you. That's great. Who is surrounded? Is, I mean, that could just be you doing you. <laughs> Given your Aries energy, that could very well be just you doing you. But there, yeah, I would wager there's someone around you who might be provoking that. <laughs> just a little bit. Who is surrounding Aries? Who is surrounding Aries, please? Oh, I gotta see this. <laughs> who is surrounding Aries? I always get a kick out of your energy. Okay, the lovers. Oh! Well now. Is there a reason you might be just a little excited? Oh my, yes. Nine of Swords. Anxiety marks their energy, however. Six of Wands. Confidence nonetheless. Okay, I dig that. I respect that. I get that. I get where that's coming from. So there is a strong connection here <laughs> for which you are simply reacting to with a great deal of your natural buoyancy, which I always respect and admire. Uh, that's one of the reasons I love because when you're... Honey, you have recyclable... I've told you this before. You have, unlike the other fire signs, Leo and Sag, you actually have unique fire energy in that it recycles on itself, okay? You're able to convert your energy very well. It's like you're the rocket. Aries is like the rocket of the fire signs, okay? And you have a very unique ability to kind of recycle your own rocket fuel, okay? This is why you can keep going, and you just keep going, and you can just keep going, okay? Um... So there, you you going for somebody. Strong connection, too. It looks pretty good. I want to know what their Nine of Swords is, but... That's anybody. Really. Little Nine of Swords. Eh. It's not too over the top. And the reason I say that is because the surrounding energy is much stronger than whatever mental conflict they might be experiencing. Um, anxiety, possibly. Maybe some pain. But... Um, they're still showing Six of Wands. Regardless, there is confidence in this connection. You seem to be responding to it positively, strongly. Um, and they themselves seem to be enjoying the connection. Where that Nine of Swords is coming from, we shall see. But uh, perhaps they overthink things. It could be that simple. All right, show them that shared energy. They might be overthinking the connection, specifically their feelings in it. But I do know this. It leaves them feeling marked with confidence, that Six of Wands. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> 
some of that shared energy is this someone you knew or you or you've known that judgments there with that old soul bond energy with the lovers I don't know how new it is we'll see Just some of that shared energy please so if you two have a little history there's a good chance I'm gonna see it some of that shared energy please between areas and their person show me that mm -mm. Yeah, a lot of overthinking, I think, between you two. Let's do one more. Show me that shared energy, please. Two of Cups. Ace of Swords. The Magician. You both want three of Cups you're connecting with this person. You both want the same thing. You both have a certain orientation in terms of your feeling. Okay, it is here. Uh, energetically speaking, you two are very strongly connected. All right, I see that for myself. You do share a love bond as well as a soul bond. They're not always necessarily the same. The Two of Cups doesn't have the same implication as the Six of Cups does or the Lovers does. So this is both um, equalness of love. You both feel it, but you also feel the connectivity or the bond. So you can love somebody, but not necessarily feel connected to them. Understand? So in this instance, there's both here. You have both the connection as well, the love connection, as well as the connectivity. That is more on the spiritual side of things, uh, more on the mental side of things. Okay. And then we have the Ace of Swords here. We have a strong truth. We're going to act accordingly. The Magician. Your energies are both pulling each other in. Okay. But yeah, underlying is that three cups. Show me the overview, please. <clears throat> Excuse me. Show me that overview, please, for Aries. Show me that overview, please. Oh, you have to excuse my tummy if it starts kicking off. I'm hungry. But then when am I not? Mm? Chariot. Oh, my. We have some feelings, don't we? Oh, yes. <laughs> Still underlying. Ah. <laughs> Aries looks in love. I told you. I think this was something I said in your last reading. <laughs> when you are in love, whoa. Right? <laughs> so, <laughs> let's take a little look-see at you. What's going on in your chariot? Mm. This is our best emotional vehicle that's all gassed up, ready to go. It looks good because it feels good, right? It has wheels. It has movement. You're feeling a rush of love. Let's see what that love looks like. Which one, please? Okay. Some of the chariot, please. I just now saw that three cups again. <clears throat> Show me that chariot, please. Show me the chariot, please. Show me the chariot, please, for Aries. Show me that chariot, please, for Aries. <laughs> Don't you feel good? Oh! Oh! Honey, I got chills. Nine of cups. Nine of cups twice. Got some options in love. <laughs> Uh, you seem to like where your love is headed, so... <laughs> oh, it makes you feel good. It makes you feel strong. It makes you feel independent. It makes you feel like being the fool on the split. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, honey, I dare say, uh... You're in love? Baseline's pretty telling. Yeah, it's not just you. They have strong markers of connectivity attached to you, which means it's not random. Soul bond energy never is. Okay. It's a very reactive thing, and it's a natural connection, whereas two of cups, like I said, you can have that with just about anybody. Okay. But this is unique. It's very strong. Okay. Is there anything else here, please, that cherry, other than the fact that you just, you feel good and you want to keep it going in that way? Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Nope. If you're new to my channel, prefer it when they fully flip or hit the table. Oh, but you're confused. Why are you confused? Two of Pentacles, why are you juggling your feelings? The sun. Don't overthink it, honey. It defeats your purpose. Okay? Don't overthink it. Allow it to flow. Um, I'm 
really honestly I'm not too worried about it because I'm not seeing anything too indicative of being problematic at least not in your overview my point is is if you have those feelings they are correct you don't need to overthink them that two of pentacles can be a precarious thing and it can be there for a variety of reasons all I know is that the markers of your energy are much more substantial than any concerns you might have the two of pentacles so I would advise you to continue on in this feeling because you literally feel the warmth of the sun as your vehicle with this person that you are experiencing with you open up more in that emotional capacity literally the better you feel and it evokes in you the qualities of the sun now since I've seen a two of pentacles here I know I'm going to see something related to that confusion overthinking our emotions over feeling our emotions okay but uh, we'll see but for now, I just know that uh, the more you act on your love, the more you express your love, the better literally you feel. You're reacting very strongly to somebody. The chariot, the sun, this is not random. This is not random love. Oh, I'm just feeling super happy and so much love today. Now, don't get me wrong. There's people like that that exist in the world and they make me sick. No, <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Hi, Christina. Real person, real terror. I also have a real personality, and I even think I have sense of humor. That doesn't mean that's actually true, but I think I do. Okay, but uh, no, there's a little bit of wiffle waffle here, but I don't want you to overthink it. You know, these qualities that are being pulled from you are not incidental. You're feeling it strongly from somewhere, from somebody. You want more of it. Mm. So, no need to linger in that space too much, you know? Just kind of let your chariot go where it needs to go. It's going to feel what it needs to feel. And you can either move forward in your love energy or you can't. And I know that the more you move in it, the better you feel. You feel the sun. Hmm. <clears throat> Truly, the sun is the most tempting element in our known universe here on Earth because, well, it's the sun, isn't it? You thrive under it, feel warm, you feel capable. You can thrive, like I said, you grow. It feels good. It feels good. Show me judgment, please. Are we switching? Oh, okay. Which one then? Okay. Show me judgment, please. Show me judgment, please. I do know this. You two are spiritually connected. I know that because judgment and lovers. Okay. It's a very strong spiritual call between you two. It's not just you, it's not just them, it's the both of you. Your souls recognize it, bare minimum, okay? So it's no surprise then, the more you advance in it, the stronger you feel, the better you feel, and the happier you feel. Okay. Show me judgment, please. Show me judgment. Show me judgment, please. Show me judgment, please, for Aries. That's you. King of Wands. Wow. Don't you feel good? Don't you feel good? There you are, underlying that point. That's you. It's good to see you. Wow. Don't you feel good? Your passion's alive, your sense of direction, and for you, that will always be an imperative point for Aries energy is direction. Give me a goal. You know that about your energy, right? Give me a goal. Give me a goal. That way I have direction. I know what to do. I know how to lead. I know how to take initiative. Just give me a goal. Give me something to work with. And I know how to move forward. Just give me something. And your energy is moving forward. And it feels like a calling. It feels correct to you spiritually. And in terms of your fire, your direction, your ambition. You are very goal driven. Okay? That's who you are. That's the mark of true leadership. Goals. Give me goals and I'll take care of the rest. Just give me something I can aim my energy at and I will take it from here, right? Mm. 
What else, please? But man, you really feel like uh, fairly recently that your energy's all dressed up and it's ready to go. What else, please? About judgment. I need more entry data, though. That's what I'm looking for. I need more entry data on it. Show me judgment, please. The King of Wands. Show me this. Could be you're connecting to a fellow fire sign, but I me thinks not. Can we have the? <laughs> as soon as I say, you say you could be connected, and then I'm like, nope. There he is, King of Pentacles. <laughs> ah, I got two people of importance here. Now, don't get me wrong. These could both be you. Okay drive ambition as well as a good head on your shoulders experience the king of pentacles is yes i am resourceful i know what my value is i know what my worth is okay i don't know that this is necessarily you i'm feeling the space of two people here very strongly okay but again they could both be you very resourceful uh, i'm my king and queen of pentacles self i know who i am at home and i know how to care for my home and everyone who resides within it that's what nurturing quality and love is okay um, experience, it's resourceful. I'm feeling like I'm seeing two people of substant, uh, substance here. Both, in other words, of equal value. We shall see. But there you are. Then we got King of Pentacles there. My, my, my. I already say, I, I just... I feel it <laughs> kind of like spider tingles is like I hope we don't have a little clash here of two uh, strong-willed people we'll see because I know you I'm hoping you're harmonizing with somebody it looks like you are okay but so far I got two people of substance here and you're both very strongly and deeply connected you both have very strong personality signatures okay a little head butting maybe we'll see but for the most part here's that judgment um, okay repeating energy yeah it's the both of you very strongly connected you two are the knights of wands i'm glad i looked down some of that knife of wands please there's your energy going off like i said just when Aries is in love, I suggest you get out the way. <laughs> there you go. There you go again. Knife of Wands. Uh, but it's coming from a good place, though, honey. If Here's the thing about you. Really, the long and short of it is, if you don't have passion, you don't have drive. You don't have drive. You don't have a goal. Therefore, you're not going to spend your energy on anyone. So I know whatever it is that you're doing towards this energy, it means something to you. It inspires you, and it gives you that sense of drive. Otherwise, you wouldn't be trying to connect with it, and happily, too. Okay, some of that Knights of Wands, please. I'm just getting a couple more shuffles on this. Some of that Knights of Wands. Some of that Knights of Wands. Oh, uh, yeah, there's fashion here. Your energy's kicking up hard for somebody. Some of that Knights of Wands, please. Show me that knight. Okay. Six of swords. This is how we're proceeding. Okay. This is how I'm proceeding. Now. <laughs> I like how you're trying to smooth out your energy a little bit. Just a little bit. You're like, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a knight of wands. I'm a knight of wands. I'm an, I know that. I know that. I know I'm a knight of wands. Okay. Six of swords. So you're trying to smooth it out just a little bit. <laughs> But I am moving forward. I'm just doing it in a very calm way. I'm excited for this. We'll pull it back a little bit. Six of swords. Okay. Make it smooth. Perhaps give a calmer presentation of our energy. Like, I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm a cool kitty. Mm-hmm. I'm going to for connecting to Virgo. Um. <laughs> I always get a kick out of your energy, Danica. Kind of <laughs> Stop it! Stop it! I was like, I 
know exactly what I'm I'm doing. I'm I'm transitioning all my firepower into a ten of cubs. That's cool. I love your energy. I really do. You crack me up. I mean, I share that energy with you. Moon and rising. I get it. So the thing I feel the most is what I try to control the most. <laughs> so I actually understand that. Oh, I've got a lot of fire. i got a lot of fire for you. got a lot of fire for this situation. We're going to pull it back a little bit. <laughs> oh, I hear it. Well, I'm cool. I'm cool, man. I'm totally cool. You know, I like that. I'm trying to smooth out that fire a little bit. Okay. Temperate. In other words, is my point. All right. All right. You know, I'm going to calmly put my, and this is how you invest. Okay. You invest your fire. And what I saw, you're trying to invest your fire in a way that's calm, transitional, and into possibly a ten of cups. Okay. We'll see. Anything else, please, about your knight of wands? What else are you getting up to? <laughs> I'm trying to... I'm, I'm, I'm just I'm not I'm just not trying to burn anybody you know I burn bright and not everybody can handle that so <laughs> I'm gonna tone it down a little bit okay all right that's interesting that's interesting and I don't recommend you tone down your energy it's not quite like that it's not like modifying your energy to accommodate someone else's needs which I never ever ever recommend it's just more like you are trying to temper yourself at a particular pace so you have to remember the six of swords is a peaceful transition so that's got a particular pace built into it so you're trying to temper your energy in a certain pace okay what else please Nope. Some of that Knight of Wands, man. Is there anything else here? We're we moving on. The Empress. Okay. So you're taking it very seriously. All right. All right. I got you. <clears throat> the Empress. All right. Uh, Taurus Libra does not have to be, but um, th this is why it, it means a lot to you. So you're kind of pulling back that energy not to the point that you're denying your aspects that are natural to you it's just uh, you're trying to go about it your natural fire energy into a more very peaceful direction this person means a lot to you so you're taking it seriously you're not trying to rush in too fast um, you are kind of pulling back your fire but it's not for anything reasons that I can tell that are bad and negative not at this time it, you might be going according to their pace as well there's that too Okay, especially if it's a king of pentacles. We also have the empress here, which is more of that earthy energy ruled by Venus and then also Libra. So there is this sense of pacing, correctness. Yes, I am very gold driven by this energy, this connection that I have. And um, I'm trying to keep pace with it. All right, because I know you, right? You really don't show hesitation. When something feels correct to you, you typically don't hesitate. All right, so the fact that you're trying to pull it back tells me you're taking this seriously. You respect this person. They mean a lot to you. So you're not trying to rush into it, but oh my God, yes, it feels so good. Okay. Okay. Nine of Cups, please. Show me that Nine of Cups, please. So you might be going along more in accordance with their pace because you are here. As the King of Wands, your Knight of Wands, that's your particular knight. They're both here. So I know your energy is correct. So you might be going more at their pace. All right. Show me that Nine... Show me that Nine of Cups, please. Show me that Nine of Cups, please. Show me that Nine of Cups, please. Show me that Nine... I feel like your energy is trying to unfold to them, but you're kind of going along more at their energetic speed, perhaps. Okay? So, I, I, in other words, I don't think you're giving them more than you feel that they can handle or that warrants the situation or something like that. Does that make sense? Like you don't want to put too much of yourself on them. Okay. So that nine of cups, please. Oh, you're, you're steady and level headed. I, I can do that too. I'm not going to just jump your bones. See, I can control myself. Something like that. Some of that nine of cups, please. I know it's a gross exaggeration and oversimplification, but I'm trying to use the language that best describes the situation. Some of that nine of cups, please. Oh, very, oh my. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, I'm hungry. Some of that Nine of Cups, please. <laughs> what 
Bye. I'll see you in a couple of weeks. Bye, Aries. Have a nice day. Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate you. It's awesome. You're locking it down. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Ah! Oh, great. So it's not big feelings. It's not just big meg. I just feel the sun. <laughs> I love the sun bathe. Get a tan. It's a, little, it's a little more than that. You are in love and you are committing to this. We got the Ten of Pentacles over that Nine of Cups. Uh, we are expanding this into a grounded reality. So it's not just you catching hard feels. No, baby. It's, um, you're taking this very seriously. Like I said, I've got two people of substance here. You both are being marked by judgment. You're both being marked by a lover's energy. So this is a very strong connection. It's kind of that feeling of it was meant to be. Um, you two are connected often in that kind of unspoken way. Okay, we're talking... We're talking we know what the other person is thinking or feeling without them having to say it. We're talking that kind of universal connectivity where you're sharing dreams, things like that. Okay, so that's what this is. And that's why everything feels so natural and correct. The only thing I see that's a little different is that you are trying to slow down your energy to meet more of their pace. Like I said, you're not just trying to jump their bones, right? Okay, it's, it's, it's building up to something more important than that is my point. Uh, so you're taking it seriously. You're giving them a certain breath of space. All right, because you see them as an empress, they mean a lot to you, okay? Uh, the empress is someone who is loving, nurturing, caring, and highly, highly productive, okay? They hold a high place in our mantle, if you will. A lot of respect here. Um, you being the emperor, it's looking like, given these two kings, your natural energy, it's looking like you, in your estimation, have found your mate or your ideal counterpart. And it's not something that you had to talk yourself into, it's natural, it's easy the way it should be, and it comes from that bond. Okay. And ain't that the truth? Nine of So yeah, you're putting this into reality, like brick by brick. Okay, and it feels good to you, it feels correct to you. And it's literally building your satisfaction, as well as in your real world with the Ten of Pentacles. In other words, it's, it's solid, it's real. Okay, you're intertwining energies in a real way. And it's very strong. And it feels correct to you. Okay, so like I said, I got two people of substance here. Your energy over here is speaking volumes to me. You want more of it. You are taking your time with it. You are developing it naturally. Okay, you slow down your pace a little bit. I think that has more to do with them than you, if I'm being honest. We'll see. I don't quite know. You seem to be following their lead. All right, but still, it's here and it's quite strong. Other than that, it's, I mean, it's not even other than that, honey. It's just... It's like your two energies are learning to accommodate each other. It's more than accommodate. It's, um, it's not quite like that. You're trying to learn how to keep pace with each other. It's lovely. Yeah, you're grounding in the future. It looks like you're nesting. It looks like you're quite happy. Okay? You seem to be very fulfilled. Emotionally and otherwise. We have an expanse here of property for some of you. Finances, community, development. All that good stuff. Okay? It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Aries, I apologize for that abrupt cut. I realized I forgot to tell you there was a good chance I was going to have a break in your reading. This happens quite a bit for me because my messages are over an hour long. So when I have a break, it's usually because I need to pick my daughter up from school or there's something else I anticipate. So I apologize, I forgot to mention that, but that was that. I'm not wearing my watch. So when I realized the time, I went, I gotta go. And out the door she went, yes. But we're home now and we're chill. Okay, so yes, I see you investing and it feels correct. Your goal is correct. Your energy is correct. Um, it feels very fulfilling to you. It's like a, a wish that's been satisfied. Okay, but more than that, you are experiencing emotional fulfillment the more you continue to invest in this, this connection, this, in, this commitment. Okay, when you put your energy into it, it has a natural flow. It has a place to go. And it's grounded in reality. 
you know, you're doing very well. Okay, now show me the person surrounding. Show me the person surrounding, please. I've been getting cold here to Big Red more and more recently. Show me the lovers, please. Show me the lovers, please. Show me the lovers, please. The hair font. Whoa. Oh, we got some big daddy energy here. Oh my. Wow. Gemini Taurus, of course. But, um. Whoo! Well, that's some big, strong, sexy, spiritual energy, isn't it? Oh my. Yes. The lovers. The hair font. Your two energies are. Well, strongly connected, obviously. Duh. But there's a spirituality surrounding it. Um, that's quite phenomenal. I already had that sneaking suspicion when you opened with judgment. Wow. Wow. You two feel very... committed to the connection. Okay, so the hair font does not have to be, <clears throat> excuse me, marital commitment. Unfortunately, it gets lost in translation like that a lot. Can he represent that? Absolutely. But in the greater scheme of things, he represents all things that we commit ourselves to. doesn't matter what it is. This is what we've agreed to. It's almost like, uh, I don't mean to sound, I don't mean to sound sappy. I don't. It's just like, uh, It's like your two souls are committed to each other in a way that's perplexing, but natural. Okay, it's um wow, wow. Um, I got a pair. I got a pair here, honey. I definitely have a pair here. It's, it's such a strong nine of cups. They're showing it too. You're reflecting back on each other, of course. <sighs> Can we just stop? Can we just stop? Just, just go. Just go. Love them hard. Don't look back, honey. That's it. That's all there is. <sighs> Jesus. Speaking of Taurus, I thought Taurus had a stellar reading last week. You give him a run for the money, honey. Whoa. You two are each other's wish fulfillment. I feel like I'm losing my edge, guys. I'm feeling like I'm losing my edge. I feel like I'm losing my edge. I feel like I'm losing my edge, Aries. Can I tell you that? Can I confide in you? I feel like I'm losing my edge. Oh, boy. <laughs> wow. All right, all right, all right. Let's get into some rally. Holy shit, that's powerful. That's really powerful. Their energy says yes, so does yours. Show me that nine of swords, please. Brilliant. I was wondering. I was wondering about that Nine of Swords. Classic overthinker. Huge heart space. Yeah. Those two tend to go hand in hand. Sometimes when we get that, uh, that rush of feeling, and that's what the chariot is. It's, it's being in love. It's very large heart space, and it's swift, swift, swift rush of love. Being in love. Okay? That's the translation. We can often overthink things. And typically people who feel things very swiftly can overthink them like this can't be right, this can't be right, this can't be right, this can't be right, you know. So I can't say I'm surprised to see big connection, big feelings. Whew. Oh boy, let's pull it back a little bit. <laughs> you know, can't say I'm surprised. There's you, the hermit. What else please? But yes, they have very, very, very strong feelings towards you. 
and it provokes in them a kind of sense of anxiety because it's like when it comes crashing in for this person it comes crashing in right and so they might get have a tendency to get caught up in their headspace about what it is that they naturally feel okay anything else please about this nine of swords cancer energy as well god damn oh excuse me i'm sorry bad christina um So let me point out the obvious, they're in love. But your energy on the midline suggests that you're trying to go more at their pace. You two are so strongly connected that I think you can pick up, to say the least. It's not crippling anxiety. It's not like that. It's more like, um you understand that their feelings are trying to catch up to their mind space. Okay? Hence why I see you pulling back, which is unique for you. It's out of respect to this person's pace. Okay? You know this to some extent, even if they don't verbalize it to you, I promise you the strength of your connection is such that you know it without having to be told. Hence why I said you're not just jumping their bones. Okay? you are developing a strong commitment with this person. Um, so your spiritual energy, your emotional energy is now meeting in the 3D. And it's, it's, it's coming from a real place. You two have obviously have a unique bond. Very strong and very unique. Okay. So when this person feels love, they fucking feel it. But it can go into a headspace too. I don't know that it's enough to override their action, their sense of direction. But they have a lot of spiritual markers around their energy that suggest a higher plane of existence, a very strong sense of awareness, responsibility, sense of self, purpose, direction, drive. And they see their energy in you. You see your energy in them. I'm going to... Do you know what I feel like, Aries? I feel like I'm going to get fired. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I'm going to get fired. Because <laughs> if I keep going on... At, if you have Taurus in your chart, you're connecting to Taurus, check theirs out. Uh, their last one was... I'll never get another one like that twice. I swear to God. I won't. I won't. I won't. I won't. Well, let me tell you something. It's. I, I feel like I'm going to get fired. <laughs> It's like, Christina, Sassy, you keep going on at this pace. Okay, we're going to have to let you go. All right? Everything's turning into Oprah. Everything's turning into Butterfly. <laughs> I, it's like I have some sort of supervisor that's watching me, and it's like... Mm -mm. <laughs> You're not meeting your Sassy quota. I read the energy, that's all I can do. And I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you. This is what I'm seeing. It's fucking beautiful. You two are rock stars, man. You two, energetically speaking, you two are fucking rock stars. I don't wanna keep going, Aries, do I really need to? It's like, okay, okay, we gotta do our job. Let me know if you're connecting to Pisces. Uh, we gotta do our job, but yeah, they have, whew, Ace of Cups, the Chariot, I mean, this person feels things for you in such a way that it it, it, it provokes their headspace. Like it almost stresses them out how much they feel for you. And it's in a Russian love. So how quiet or loud this is, I don't know. The hair font can be pretty quiet. And then we have the lovers, which can be loud or quiet. Okay, so I don't know. I don't know. All I know is that when they feel it, they feel it strong. To the point that it causes them stress. A little bit, you know. They take their feelings to a headspace sometimes. But, um, it's almost like they get overwhelmed in their own feeling. You know. Some of that Six of Wands, please. Some of that Six of Wands, please. 
Confidence. Confidence. The Six of Wands. Show me the Six of Wands, please. Show me the Six of Wands, please, for this person. I'm going to get fired. I'm going to get so fucking fired. I can't keep having readings like this. I'm going to I'm going to lose my viability, Aries. I can't have readings like this. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't keep the Empress God dang it. I can't. I can't keep having readings like this. First it's Taurus and now it's you. I can't. I'm going to lose my standing, man. I'm going to lose my rep. I'm going to lose my street cred. I'm going to Okay. 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 <sighs> okay. Okay, fine. Yes, they are very confident in moving forward with you. Six and six is balanced energy. Six and one is the six of cups. Continuing on in this endeavor of confidently but not with arrogance, but with confidence and continuing to explore and engage and open up towards the Six of Cups. Yes, it is old soul bond energy. You two are phenomenally connected, as I've pointed out, and it's also on the spiritual plane of existence. Your souls recognize it. Oh. Oh. Oh my God. Mm. Yeah. Like I said, love them and love them hard. Don't look back. Okay? You are grounding this into reality. You seem to be going at their particular pace. You two seem to be a match. You're both showing markers of higher planes of existence as well as spirituality and soul recognition, all that shit. Fine. Fine. You want to do me like that? Okay, fine. <laughs> no, I'm happy for you. Remember, you opened up with the chariot, too. I have a feeling you knew before they did. I'm confident you knew before they did what your feelings were and where your son's coming from. Okay? It's almost like you agreed with yourself to move at their kind of pace. You don't want to push things. Yeah, you would like to jump in there, okay, with that physical energy, but you're pulling it back a little bit, okay? Um, you have a very high regard for this person, but ultimately you two are very much equals, okay? So no matter how your actual connection plays out in the 3D world, you two very much recognize each other as equals. This is your as far as I can tell, your divine counterpart. Okay. No, I'm actually quite happy for you. And given that I have double prominent Aries placements. Mm. Mm, maybe I can find myself in this too. Two of Cups, the Ace of Swords, the Magician. Trying to bring it in, the both of you. Okay? Two of Cups. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> which one, please? Which one, please, for this Two of Cups? Which one? Some of this Two of Cups, please. Oi, oi, oi. No shit. The Wheel of Fortune. Uh-huh. Show me those two of cups, please. Some of you had to open up, take risks, and abandon other things. Okay? You or them. I'm saying that because I'm seeing it on the split. Yeah. Some of you had to exit situations, or they did, somebody did, where there was stagnation, no growth, and or development. Okay? Um, show me this... 
Two of Cups, please. So again, if you have strong Taurus aspects in your chart, please check those out. That was pretty damn phenomenal. Let me get back to that. Show me that Two of Cups, please. Show me that Two of Cups, please. Okay. Oh, yeah, that started some time ago, didn't it? Mm. Simple investment. A simple investment. Page of Pentacles. Nothing huge, nothing crazy, nothing astronomical. A very small investment to what felt correct to the both of you. That's it. Easy peasy. Lemon fucking squeezy. It started out as a very simple investment, as these things do. You may, neither of you, I was about to say, neither of you may not have known what you're investing in, but that's bullshit, Aries. That's bullshit. You both felt it. Even if you couldn't articulate it. Even if you had no evidence in the real world, and I say that because there's heavy, heavy spiritual connectivity between you and this person that is borderline divinity. Okay? So, Neither one of you in the real world may not have known what you were investing in completely, but parts of you did. In each other, specifically. But yes, Page of Pentacles, Two of Cups. Yeah, it was. It was Taurus's reading. So again, if you have strong Taurus in your chart or if you're connecting to Taurus, check them out. Okay? Because it starts out that way Page of Pentacles, Two of Cups. A little bit of investment into simple emotions. Two of Cups is always going to be simple emotions. Okay. Ace of Wands. Oh, but it had promise on it from the very beginning, didn't it? The Light of Pathway. Hope. Vigor. Passion. Recognition. Got it. Some of the Ace of Swords. Critical understanding of the truth and acting accordingly. We shall see. Some of the Ace of Swords, please. I can tell that this person's mind plays up on them. But it's coming from a place of strong emotion. The fact that they get in their head as often as they do is indication of the strength of their feelings. But it seems to come out in a kind of war ground in this person's mind. And it's not for lack of feeling. On the contrary, it's because it's so big. Okay. So that Ace of Swords, please. But other than that, honey, they're moving forward in the Six of Cups. It's peaceful. we got a Six and Six balance here. That's always a good thing in my book. You know, whenever we see a multitude of sixes, that's always a good thing. Okay. Show me this emphasis on that Nine of Cups. Yes, wish fulfillment. Oh, I should damn well say so. You two are each other's wish fulfillment, to say the least. Do you see what happens when you gravitate towards your sun, even when things aren't particularly clear? Hmm? Show me that Ace of Swords, please. Show me that Ace of Swords. Okay, okay, okay. Six of Wands with the Fool. Yes. Feeling very confident about taking a risk. Now show me this Ace of Swords, please. Show me that Ace of Swords. I'm going to get fired. <laughs> and I am my own boss. I'm going to fire me. <laughs> stop it. You're under like, stop it. Stop it. Don't stop it. It's gorgeous. Mm. Mmm. Oh. Queen of Wands and the Nine of Cups. Will you stop being each other's wish fulfillment? Jesus. Stop it. <laughs> oh, God. Look at your energy. Look at the both of you. Oh. Stop. Just. Don't stop it. It's gorgeous. It's beautiful. Mm. Like I said, I love them, love them hard. Somebody also had to come to terms with healing their heart space, the Ace of Cups. New love, yes, but also healing of one's heart. Someone had to come to terms with that with the Ace of Swords, okay? Am I prepared? Am I ready to receive that sexy, gorgeous, Aries, fiery-ass energy right here? Am I ready to receive this? Am I prepared to receive this? Somebody's conclusion was, uh, yes. <laughs> But uh, you're both displaying aces. So this is a conclusion you both had to arrive to, consciously and willfully, okay? To have your heart spaces prepared and ready for each other. Um, if I get any more sweet, I'm just gonna... There they are again. 
on a split with the Empress. Is there even a point to looking at the magician? Seriously, you're manifesting. Yeah, I know what you're manifesting. No, it's also real world too. It's beautiful. After this reading, I'm giving myself an evaluation. <laughs> I'm giving myself an evaluation and we're going to have a little talk. <laughs> no, I'm happy for you. And in fact, as I was telling Taurus, you, as them, as Scorpio, the energy is often misinterpreted. And that's unfortunate. Because I know your energy is better than that. So I would like to say congratulations to you, if this applies to you, because it's beautiful. It's very beautiful. There's a lot of love here. What's mind-blowing to me is the spiritual connectivity. You two are each other's equals. All, of, all other differences aside, whatever differences there may exist between you, your energies are equal. And that's really all that matters. You might have a world of differences between you in terms of demographics, logistics, but none of that matters. Mm, the way you two are so strongly connected, none of that shit matters. You're equal in the way it really counts. Spiritual growth, spiritual growth, ascension. Investing of self and goals, being on the same page, all that stuff. Okay. Okay. Show me the magician, please. Nothing else matters. Metallica. Nothing else matters. I completely agree. That's one of the best power ballads ever. Nothing Else Matters by Metallica. For some of you, that is confirmation. Um, but yes, Nothing Else Matters. As long as it's you and me, Nothing Else Matters. I agree. Okay. Anything, the Magician, I, I just, it's like a formality at this point. Show me the Magician. Because we're here, I gotta do my job right, even though I'm gonna be fired for my job shortly. Show me the Magician, please. <laughs> No, Aries, I'm actually very happy for you. I am. I am. Scorpio got really close. The Hermit. You're both healing. You're both healing and you're both willfully, consciously choosing to open that cycle. Okay, so Scorpio got really close. Really close. And I was going to say, this is what was interesting to me about theirs. They showed a Knight of Wands, I believe, and a Six of Swords. And they were trying to break from their passion for someone they felt so strongly for because they couldn't understand or see the direction of the connection. Okay, so I'm seeing some elements to that here as well, but um, it, it, in terms of that willingness to rush in, the energy we put into things because we know something's correct. So congratulations to you uh, that you and your person and moving forward in what's right for you and not what isn't. You'd be surprised how often it's the other way around. We are healing. We are both summoning this. Okay, there's more of that hermit energy. Wait, did I see the hermit before? I feel like I did. No. All right. But yes, as you two continue to manifest each other, you both continue to heal and strengthen. Okay, it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. I retire. I'm done. Fucking, I'm retired. That's it. I'm done. I'm retired. I'm, I'm done. I gotta hang up my sassy shingle because apparently I... D d no. <laughs> Uh, I'm retired, okay? That's it, I'm done. I'm hanging up the sassy shingle because apparently it doesn't apply to my job description anymore. Okay. <laughs> I need to pull me aside and have a serious eval, okay? <laughs> oh, that's one of the benefits of having given up the traditional career path. I don't have to worry about that shit anymore. Um, but yeah, the star, it's...
You're healing in each other's pathway. You are each other's pathway. And you're both consciously and willfully manifesting it. The sun is beautiful. There you are on the split, the fool. Um, the sun is beautiful. And it's natural. It's the most natural thing you can experience when you're happy. It's the happiest card in the deck. Yes. But you know what the most rewarding is? By far. The star. It takes a lot more work. You have to keep your eye on an ever-shifting constellation. But it's that much more rewarding if you stay on the path. So it is. You both are determined to follow that pathway. You want more of it, not less. Okay. I'm, I'm disappointed in myself. <laughs> I can't, if I keep, I just, I can't, I can't, I can't keep going at this rate, honey. I can't. I'm losing all my cred. Okay. I'm losing all my credibility, Aries. But I'm happy for you. All silliness and jokes aside, real terror flicks real life. And uh, for some of you, this is room. And it's beautiful. Like I said, love them hard, don't look back. Either one of you. Just for fun. Is there anything else here, please? Is there anything else here, please? The world, no kidding. There you are. Yes, you are opening up to this. Derp. Okay, anything else, please? Yes, I'm sure cycles have come and gone, too. Absolutely. Um, page of one, yeah. So, so many of you, this is in the beginning stages. Okay, very early stages. We're just now opening up to this. And like I said, you can have this old soul bond energy, old soul connectivity, but in terms of the real world and how it's playing out, just might now be unfolding. Like I said, you two have a way of understanding each other. Okay. So, anything else, please? Anything else, please? Justice. Correct. We want a sense of fairness and balance are equal, right? Um, someone who can compromise, someone who can work with our energy and invest accordingly. Okay, so it's not just one-sided. Uh, we want, and like I said, the two of you are showing a phenomenal display of fairness, uh, equality, and appreciation for this connection, building it, contributing to it. It's not just you, it's not just them, it's the both of you. I mean, again, the two of you are like this. Okay, fairness, because you're like this. You're reflecting within each other the goals the same page, the familiarity of spirit, the familiarity and embracing of love, uh, and moving forward in that connection. The only thing that's really interesting to me, it's not an energy contradiction, but with this is like, okay, I'm going to go more at their pace, but that was it. Okay. Uh, because this person's important to you, and part of you picks up on their nine of swords, that tendency to go within, in the mind, okay, when they feel strong things, all right? But, uh, other than that, you know, you guys are solid. And it's beautiful. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm so getting fired. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Time references, please. Any imperative or important time references, please. I'm not saying... June might be important. I've seen double sixes, okay? And then we also have the lovers here strongly as well. So again, June might have some very critical energy exchange with this person. Um, also, we have the height of summer or when the sun is highest in the sky. So we are talking July, August. That's Leo season. So that's concurrent energy. Six to seven to eight, okay? Correct. Um... So a lot of energy exchange here as we continue to build in this connection, invest in it, 
invest in it appropriately and wisely for the better. Okay, so you two may not know how it's unfolding yet, but I promise you, you are each other's equals. All right, it has a great deal of promise and your two souls, your two energies recognize that immediately. So no matter how small that contribution was, I don't care. The page of pentacle is the most reliable of all the pages because it's real world energy. So no matter how small that contribution was in the past, you both contributed to it. You both sent something in each other. You both felt the investment of something new moving you ever onward. You two each were each other's equals from the very beginning. They didn't have to build themselves up. You didn't have to build yourselves up. That means you two were already right for each other. Okay. So again, strong sense of equal markmanship and markers and just see this honey. Oh, if Scorpio could just get their collective shit together, they could have this tap. I love my Scorpios, of course. But we do have that tendency to hesitate because we are fixed water, you know? Because we're such strong emotional investors, we have a tendency to pull our hand back, you know? When the feelings get too strong, kind of like this person. And uh, it's like, oh, 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 I'm feeling that cup too big, too fast, too much. Let's pull it back a little bit. <laughs> Because even we shock ourselves by how fast and quickly we can plunge into our feelings. Okay. You know. But this is beautiful. This is beautiful. And I am seeing some elements there to that Scorpio energy too. Oh. Okay. I'm waiting for something here. 25th might be important to some of you. Hmm. See, there's that Nine of Swords again. In reference to this person, they can have a tendency to put their guard up, but they are working on it. They seem to know this about themselves, so I'm seeing self-awareness here. Okay, so just in that general overview. And then again, we literally have summer references, July, August, September, specifically. It's literally July, August, September. Even if I broke it down into weeks, it would still carry over into the summer months. Okay, but yes, heavy references to June and then just in the general sense, uh, summer. Knights of Swords, we continue to take action in this way. No hesitation in you. Not surprised about that whatsoever in regards to that Two of Cups. Mm, you can't be faulted for not taking action, honey. Dude, seriously, come on. The world... I'm sorry, the Wheel of Fortune. Yes, October might be important to some of you, but for many of you, this is happening now. It just might be very subtle. Okay. I get... So, okay, look, let's just clear that table right now. For those of you who are dealing with, who are dealing with Scorpio, because I am referencing them, uh, because I am seeing some aspects here that were in, except yours has a stronger output. Theirs had the potential for a strong output, but then they have that tendency to pull back when they feel the depths of their emotions, ha emotions happening as fast. So if you are dealing with Scorpio, <laughs> if you are dealing with Scorpio, that would also explain your pacing. Um, if you feel that they're holding back from you, you're all in this, you have no hesitation, which is very you, you know what you want, you're very goal driven, it's very much your energy. This person means a lot to you and you can feel their hesitation, particularly when they get overwhelmed with their feelings. So there is a good chance you were dealing with Scorpio, okay, as fixed sign in general. Um, so for those of you who are, and you want that Scorpio to come back around more to your energy, okay, and be receptive to your energy and opening up more towards you. Like I said, Scorpio is an emotional investor, okay? So they need emotional reassurance. It's usually that simple. Everybody thinks Scorpio is so complicated. We're really not. Our complexity is typically a smoke and mirrors thing. I feel a lot and I can't have you know that. Smoke and mirrors. 
Distraction, distraction, distraction. Don't look at me. So, for those of you who want to deepen your connection with a Scorpio, you got a little insider info. <laughs> they need emotional reassurance for them to feel safe. Again, fixed signs equal safety. Okay? That's true for Taurus, it's true for Aquarius, it's true for Leo, it's true for Scorpio. Fixed signs need assurance, reassurance, safety. You're dealing with fixed water, Scorpio, they need reassurance. There you go. So, they have a strong sense of emotional rush towards you. They pull it back a little bit. You try to meet them at their pacing, cool. You know, they need the emotional reassurance. And then they have a stronger sense of emotional development and investment and loyalty. Okay? It's pretty simple stuff. It really is. Honestly, I swear to God. It's like, oh, Scorpio is so complicated. No, honey. No. <laughs> we just have big damn cups. <laughs> <laughs> you know, in order to distribute that cup, we need to know the other person's in it, okay? Before we can feel safe. That's it. That's all it really is. You know? That's it. I'm going to say, just, let's just get that out of the way. All right, anything else here, please? Yeah. And for some of you, October, as I've seen, I've already seen that reference. So, yeah, we're seeing multiple... Time references to a steady development over summer upwards into October. Ten. Ooh, lots of ten energy here. Lots of ten energy here. Is this when we hit stride? Is it in October? With our person? Do we hit energetic stride with our person by October? Continue to deepen the connection over the next several months. That's my point. But then uh, October keeps popping up. Ten. Ten. Wheel of Fortune. What else, please? There's that confidence again. Calm confidence. Calm confidence that this is the correct course by October. So continue to develop this connection and deepen it over the next several months. That's it. Well, congratulations. No, I am happy for you. All the silliness aside, it's great to see this for you. It really is. I'm going to have to change my channel name soon. Sassy Scorpion Tarot to Super Squishy. <laughs> to Super Squishy Scorpion, which is a contradiction. <laughs> No, I'm happy for you. This is great. I cannot impress upon you enough. The intensity, just on your opening line, the both of you, your opening line, their opening line, okay? The Nine of Cups was in there too. I don't even need to include that at this point. This was your and theirs opening line. Combined. Combined. Yours and theirs, combined. This is what the two of you are showing each other. Okay, you see that? You two are equals. You are spiritually connected in a way that most people I don't think can understand. You two may not even understand it. There's a good chance of that. Let's make that clear. You two show up in each other's energies like this. When they show hesitation, you show pulling back. Calmness. It's okay. I'm here. They say I'm in it with you, you just give it right back. I'm in it with you too. Um, it's beautiful. You are each other's wish fulfillment. The Nine of Cups is here twice. Also, the star. Can't get much more wish fulfillment than that. Okay. And frankly, honey, 
The opening kind of says it all. Even that two of pinnacles. What you feel and experience with this person is so much bigger. That's enough. Oh, good Lord. Aries, put in the comments as you see fit. Love them hard, don't look back. Take care. Be well.